Capitol, a Jewish organization, is fighting against a bill recently passed during the special session. The bill addresses executions and the methods Louisiana officials can use. News 2's Abigail Woodham was there. She joins us in the newsroom tonight. Michael Sylvia, Senate Bill 430 would remove lethal gas as a method of execution. The Jewish leaders I spoke to say they're offended and troubled by methods of killing that bring back memories of the Holocaust. Louisiana became the eighth state in the country to recognize lethal gas as a death row execution method. It passed during the January special session. The method has only been used once so far in the state of Alabama. We do not want our state to do something that we feel such a gut-wrenching reaction about. The coalition called Jews Against Gassing says this is causing many to relive trauma from the Holocaust. Senator Katrina Jackson Andrews has partnered with the coalition to write a new bill which would reverse the old one. We all know that uh, death by suffocation via gas is a trigger of trauma for those Jews and, and, and those who are still living and um, still dealing with what happened during the Holocaust. And so I was excited to join them in passing this bill to eliminate gas from uh, a method of killing. The group held a rally at the Capitol Tuesday after the new bill was heard in committees for the first time and many voiced their concerns. I cannot remain silent against a method of execution that so deeply offends my people and displays such blatant disrespect for our collective trauma. Representatives from both sides of the argument were present, but those supporting keeping gas executions were in the minority. We need justice, and I agree. Let's, let's quit using This is not again. First let's Amendment, by the way. They this is just just uh, obstructing right now and trying to block us out and we're not going to let this gentleman do that. The bill passed the first round of committees and is expected to be voted on by next week. Live in the newsroom, Abigail Whittem, WBRZ News 2.